Hi, I'm Issa Fernandez. I'm 20 years old and uh, I'm really passionate about music and the arts. My mom always jokes that I started singing before I started talking. I hope you make it back before the rain. I found this studio in Daytona called South Beach Dance Academy and it was really fun. It was like musical theater, jazz based. I really loved it. I was started getting these like headaches and the doctors were prescribing me for like a sinus infection. Maybe the day or the two days before the last day of school, she gets up and she has a headache and she'd be sitting on the couch and I would give her, you know, it's like, oh, I'll give her style and all, but I was so distressed and then she got up to go to the bathroom and just, and just fell in the hallway. I was taking a Bert Fish, no, I was taking an Arnold Palmer um, in Orlando and from there, they did more MRI scans. They found out I had a brain tumor. Um, and within five days, um, I was in surgery. They said, we're just going to watch you for a month. Um, we're not going to give you chemotherapy or radiation just yet. So the tumor I had uh, is a really rare type of brain tumor called astroblastoma. It um, was in the right frontal lobe of my brain. And it was like the size of a large egg. So they just did the surgery and I had an amazing neurosurgeon. She was like this beautiful black woman who was so pregnant. The surgeon was eight months pregnant. And I said, take this thing out of my daughter's head. And I looked at the oncologist, I said, we'll do what we can when we're, when we're done. So that's what happened. So she had surgery that Friday. She was in um, ICU for a couple of days and in the hospital for a total of 10 days. You know, a lot of people came and visited, a lot of family and friends. And three months later, um, I went back to the doctor and they said, listen, you're in remission, you're cancer free. Um, and it was amazing, like one of the best feelings in my life. My mom and my brother and my dad were with me. Uh, and we just felt like immensely light. And then three days after that visit, uh, my dad died. He's a lifelong surfer. And um, that m the morning, Saturday morning, he was going out for a surf session and he was gonna come back and take me to dance class. And the waves weren't that big, but he was pretty excited because it was a tropical storm, so the waves were gonna be pretty good. But something just happened that day. He, he was out in the water. I don't know if he passed out or what. And, um, and then he fell off his board and, and, and drowned in the water that day. And so I was like in my dance clothes, like ready to go to dance class, you know? And he was supposed to come back after surfing and take me to dance class. I was like leaving him so many voicemails, like angry voicemails, like, I can't believe you forgot I have dance class. The whole East Coast knew before we did because calls had come into the house and some friends came over, they had heard, so they were there, but everybody was shielding the kids from the calls. So, so my neighbor took me to the Burt Fish Hospital, and then the lady who, who had to come out to like the waiting room where we were waiting and tell us that, uh, that my dad had died, it was the same lady that like had to tell me, you know, I'm cancer too. It was just so, so strange. But she's missing daddy's hands And she's missing daddy's hands Hoping that she'll feel you When her feet sink in the sand Acting and music in the arts made things manageable. Started writing music before my cancer, but I really, really was inspired afterwards, um, and I want to, you know, record and produce them. I just think that if, you know, they help me get through something, maybe they could help someone else get through something, or maybe someone else would just want to hear them, or um, maybe it's just for me, you know. I feel like if I if I put them out there, then it would give me like closure or something. I'm looking to intern in the summer in Nashville in one of the studios, but it's still in the process yet. So I don't want to say that, you know, I have it, got it, but 
fingers crossed. I'm leaving with or without you, babe. If not, we'll meet someday.